well, even five years ago, this area was not exactly as looked after as now. So a couple of years ago, we started to have tiles, clean the area, remove the grass, excavate more. We found that area in the middle just by luck. Thing that was a smaller temple to receive the married ship of Hathor, to keep like a like a park spot for that massive and a symbolic one too. So the other symbolic cedar ship or the real one. So they had to keep them here if they're not going to use them. They're going to have them in the marriage date, but not before, not after. So after you're not really in need of it, you keep a room for them. It could be a number of them, one or two, or large or medium. We did not find any of them surviving, but we have the text to refer to them. Okay, see mud walls, mud brick walls. Some are Arab, some Ottoman, some Roman. Different layers of things. Some locals made afterwards. So we were all the time there, we could not see them. So before five years ago, no one had realized that they were where we used to walk, right above oh, wow. at Antiquities. So mere chance made us lucky to find this. The Roman dynasty, saving a lot of cost, the safe paying for stone and favored mud, as that was checked by them and found so dry, so dry weather. So why have to make out of stone anything? Why don't make it of sand? or anything else, cheap. So the mud is surviving, could be now more than 1,000 years old. So that ancient sandstone has d dust layer because of lack of rain, never been washed, never been ever washed. So it's a regional socket for hinges. Oh, correct. Two on the top, two on the bottom. find your king ruler is divine. Goes back to ancient Egypt where we found ourselves to support the king claiming that his birth was divine. The mother goddess Hathor, the goddess of motherhood, would give him protection, blessing for seven days. She always takes seven forms, that reason. You can see the woman repeated seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each form of her remains protecting for the baby for a day till you are finished with seven days, she is giving him health, prosperity, and protection. And Egyptians, after her, done her job with the baby, they have their birth party on his birthday, a week later. So that's the reason the word doing that, and many countries doing the same thing. You have a first birth party for your baby after just having to be one week old, as he's protected by Hapa for seven days. And he's healthy that people can see and bless him or meet him. So the birth party was held in that temple, and referring that was for Trajan or Trajan. And you invite relatives and everybody else. You can see that the main god, Ra, is to cuddle the baby. And two maids, like wife maids, were transferring the baby from the mothers to the god to bless. You can see that the, the lady giving birth is setting on a bed after herself had given birth to a baby. And the two wife maids are next and beside to support her, help her. Then you see Ra at the in place and holding a fresh water reed and writing on that one the name of that child to join the family tree of gods. Then you can see the gods are all invited for the party. Party. See Osiris, see the baby. And you see Osiris, see Ammon, see Horus, see the king among them, deified. You see the god of justice, the lioness, goddess of heat, damage, most of gods, Newt, the water and the sky, Isis, love, other Horus, Naphthys. So different gods from everywhere, every province are invited or were invited to see the birth of that human who is divine. And this story can fit any of the kings ruled Egypt. So what you have to do is remove the cartouche of Trojan and draw another one. So as exactly you would do once you invite for a baby birth party, you're, you're asked to hold the baby gently for a minute. The gods are doing the same thing here. Each is holding the baby carefully 
And you can see that, you can feel that. One arm underneath, exactly professionally, one arm, and touching the shoulder gently. In doing that, to bless and to read the mother for being healthy after the, the pregnancy. Then underneath, you find the, the, the joy he had after the baby was born. You can see the ladies wearing crowns of hatha. As they are still to follow goddess of music, they are beating drums, beating drums. And the other group of them there, providing the same, occupying the same level, are holding a musical rattle each. Musical rattle. The rattle. This is the first toy you must give to his baby. A musical rattle. A third, the baby would own the first toy ever, a musical rattle. So the musical rattle is a sign of hustle. Even her column in the temple is art to represent the rattle, musical rattle. So they are shaking the system of the rattle to breathe the baby and it's catching his senses or make him conscious. That's the reason he uses the rattle. To feel that you really someone is trying to play with him or maybe entertain. So Tutankhamun in Khan's end keeps his own old rattles, musical rattles. So the southern dialect of hieroglyphics spoil the T. If you are having your name to have T in it, letter T, they transfer that one to D. So if you are Trijan, they call it Trijan. If it's Tay, you call it Da, as I told you before. So his name, according to the southern accent of hieroglyphics, is D R Y N U Driano or Driano. So that could be D A Da. That the lion is R, the two feathers are Y, the pot of wine is new, Triano. So not Triano, as some people call them, or Trajan became Drajan, Trojan. Trajan, different way of being. He is the third of the emperor we know, ruled in the first half of uh, 80, century 80. We shall see now the, room, the, the back of the main temple, where we shall let you see the only carving that refers to Cleopatra the seventh, the famous Cleopatra. Mark Antony Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. she does, she's not found many, many places apart from that. To see, to, to see her face, see really what we know about her. And we in, into the temple to see the zodiac, so the main highlight on it. The Romans were not interested to see really the temple, but we may send once in a while a delegation or a deputy to see if the temple has something to do with the king or not. The money they are sending annually to the temple must encourage the priests to write their names somewhere. Uh, because we may doubt of that, we had to check that. So we, the, 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 the temple had to make certain that the name of the emperor must be written. Some of them were generous, so the name would be written everywhere, and the figure would be bigger. And some did not pay that much, so they had really a little area. Like, for example, Nero. Nero. Our Kratos Nero, hold it. N A R I N. It's written as Niron. Actually, it's Nero. Nero, I think that's what you call it. And you know it. So, the, uh, this side is for Nero, the one seen to burn Rome later. So, this generous, this area was his own side of the temple. Not really much. If you compare to the rest of things, he's given little part of it. I'll take you around to see that. The, uh, figure of Cleopatra the Seventh at the back of the temple. They will be seen inside after that. So that woman to the left side, where the crown resembles Hathor, as she is here showing respect to Hathor, wearing her crown. The man in front of her, we have no clue who, as the, the cartouche beside his head was changed and modified, refreshed many times. So you see that if you look at the cartouche, you see that they the, scratch the name and re-plastered, then filled the name again, then re-scratched, then refilled, <laughs> maybe five or four times. So we are not able to tell you if he was her son, finally, from Caesarean, as she maybe preferred to, according to the final reading. He's called Ptolemy, we think he's the last Ptolemy, the 14th, and he was actually her son from Caesar, Caesarean, the one she had a Caesarean to give birth to. And he's the one ruled for a little while and most probably murdered before Octavia August ruled the country. <coughs> so that's the story. Recently in Alexandria, there they found under the sea an area that used to be owned by her, where her palace was, was made. And they found a throne for her and few monuments, and they're searching for more. It will become a submarine museum. The tourists can see the treasures of Cleopatra VII in the future. 
and hopefully we'll find more of her coins, wealth, or an intact tomb for her of Alexander Great, which those things are still lost. Yeah. Alexandria expecting, we expect Alexandria a future for excavation. We find Alexander Great tomb and the rest of the Ptolemaic rulers. Fine. So um, this is the one we are confident tell you she's Cleopatra from reading her name and from the historians' information about her too. She's only got that take, have taken that little over temple to share on. All right, we'll let you see now the inside and take you to see the Zodiac Chapel where the Zodiac came from. The, re the Zodiac recently, or right now, still in Louvre, the Louvre Museum in France. We have a cast. They are not really steep. Yeah, it's like a step ladder, yeah? Oh, okay. no, you can manage. I didn't know if I was allowed to go up it, so I thought I'd wait till we you will. Exactly.